Hello everyone, this is the Magic Master, and welcome back to Across the Time. This is episode 29 of this RPG slash adventure map. If you haven't seen the last episode, um, don't. Just don't. Don't watch it. Nothing nothing happens. Um, it's not called a catastrophic mistake. Nothing goes terribly, terribly wrong. I don't do the stupidest thing I've ever done. What do you mean? Carrying on, we're going back into the nether. Um, no. In all seriousness, uh, it is a series, so I would recommend watching the other ones, but if you're not, you're probably not going to be lost if you haven't. Um, I say that, you might be lost, but you're not going to be any more lost than I am, so you should be fine. Uh, we're going to carry right on from where we left last week. Um, yeah, that's it. Welcome back. Uh, link to the map is in the description. If you want to put yourself through this, I mean, try this yourself. Oh, the waves of zombies have completed, have they? Well, let's go find some more, shall we? The old ones won't have despawned either. Okay, at least this is a path I can follow now. Tells us C plus five, whatever that means. The Manazia is supposed to last another three minutes, which just sounds like torture. Especially if it's going to be fighting zombies, so we're just going to have to fight through it. Unless this command, this button won't be kind of, what the? I didn't even push the button! The door is open. The door is open. Get through it, get through it, get through it, get through it. Ah! Zombie! Zombie! No! 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 No, wait, I need... Button, button, button! Oh my god. Um, I got 50 bottles of enchanting, a book that's called Full Cure. Clue on the Sky Flower. Still died. Um... Okay, let's, let's read here while we're in relative safety. Full Cure, it's a spell. Restores all health points instantly to players. We're keeping that. It's the only spell we've got because of our... thing that happened last time. Okay, the Heaven's Flower, native of the famous lands of Arturia, formerly big source of pure water, rose, we set up to the sky. It would be the passage towards the celestial dimension according to the former statements. Only a seed can make it reborn. We tell that the last seed would be hidden in the kingdom of Angband. Okay, so we're looking for a seed, I think? Oh, I'm still dizzy from the nausea. Okay. I'm hoping we can somehow use this to get through... somewhere else, because I don't want to go back up. I don't want to go back across there. And I don't think there's anything else there, unless I miss something. Which is possible because I was dying, and nauseous, and just generally not having a fun time. Um, let's let's head onward, shall we? We don't have anything telling us what we need to open any of these. Is the problem? Like, there's not an obvious spot to put this, whereas normally there would be. I could try putting it in the same one, but I would be slightly worried it just eats it and then I never get it back. It doesn't. Okay, so did we not get anything helpful? We have to go back in there. Okay, we're going back in there. Well, we did get Z plus 5, which presumably means something, but I don't know what. We're gonna go back in there, we're gonna make sure we clear effects before we carry on. We're gonna make sure what we clear is effects and not another thing, like our inventory, for example. Um, yeah, yeah, Z plus five. Uh, effect magic clear. does lessen our health somewhat, but also takes away the nausea, so I feel like it's a fair trade. I 
I can pretty easily get through here now. Yeah, I got everything out of the portal. No, there's nothing else in here. Okay, so it must be... It must be back here then. Nothing opened in here, did it? No. Huh. I have to walk through this again, which is irritating, so that'll be the second time I've had to walk through the nether section. It's been very unclear about how I'm supposed to progress. Like, was that just a pointless side quest? There must have been something I was supposed to get out of it. It's not like Z plus 5 is a code I can put in somewhere. Oh. Okay, well, I'm gonna skip ahead again and try and figure out how I'm supposed to get past this puzzle. I will be right back. Okay. Hello. Um. So. I think where I went wrong. These need to be off. Yes, okay, good. I think where I went wrong is just I didn't explore enough. Because apparently you can go up this tower. Which I'm not quite sure how I was supposed to know that either. A lot of this uh, particular level appears to just be guessing work, which is kind of frustrating, um, a little bit infuriating, but it's, it's whatever, it's fine. We get some gold nuggets and some bottles of enchanting, and a pumpkin pie, and a lever that I really, really hope has dropped the thing. That is my hope, my prayer, um, there we go. Okay, brilliant, fantastic, lovely, we can cross the bridge. I feel like this is an important achievement. Here's the ender chest that we can stuff full of more bottles of enchanting, some gold nuggets if they want it. That's, I think that's all I need to give it. Okay, um... What's in this double chest here? Some nice leather armor. We'll take that, just in case my diamond armor breaks. Who am I kidding? When my diamond armor breaks, and then I'll eventually treat that out for diamond armor again, because it, like, I'm, I'm just being realistic here. It's gonna happen. You know it, I know it. It's, it's all just a matter of time. Okay, let's cross this bridge, I guess. Forward ho! Whoa, that, that thing is scary. Are we sure this is the thing we want to be approaching? Go. Never in my lifetime I will not let it pass a stranger. Oh, we got a checkpoint though. I don't know if it opened the door or not, but I'm hoping it did. There's yet another gravel wall here. I'm assuming I can't just shoot arrows through it. Oh, but I can totally shoot arrows up there. Is that a pigman? I think that's a pigman. I think I just got duped into shoot shooting another pigman. But I've got to somehow get... I actually think that must be how you get the thing to drop, though, so we're going to do it again. Unless my aim is terrible, which it is. I've got a terrible shot, oh my god. Oh, I hit it, I hit it. I bet this doesn't even drop it. I bet the gate doesn't drop when I do this. How much health does this thing have? How many arrows do I have to shoot into it? I'm just making the Pikmin hate me forever and ever. Ok, 
Okay, sure enough, it did nothing. Oh, I tell a lie. It did exactly what it was supposed to do. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, no way out. Have to fight through them. Okay, just let them kill me. Just let them kill me. Guys, who designs these maps? Who thinks, yeah, this is fair? I... Oh. Remember when I used to like Minecraft? That's good. I'm glad I can teleport with checkpoint one at least. Where I can get killed by the wave of zombie pigmen waiting for me. Ah! Gooey. Terribly sorry. Really am. Oh good, there's more of them. On the bright side, look at how pretty this place is. You know if I wasn't being attacked? I would really like to take the time to appreciate it. Oh shoot, okay, it's gone too quick. Okay, there we go, thumbnail done. Then we start getting attacked again. Okay, we can get thumbnail while we're not being attacked. No, no we cannot. That was the answer to that question. Okay, let's climb up here then. We're gonna try one more time for a thumbnail. Ready? Oh, I dropped my sword. That's a bad sign. Boom. Totally got it. Without being attacked. Look at us go. Okay, anyway. <laughs> Back to the task at hand. Okay, so we need a, a small key to go through here. Oh, hello. Hello. I know, I know. You hate my guts because I shot down your guard. I'm sorry. I didn't really have a choice, but I understand why it would make you angry. I would be pretty angry if someone murdered my friend, too. So it's understandable that you want to kill me. It is a shame that the only response I have to that is killing you, too. But, okay, we can go down this side. Which is a lovely library. We got a blaze rod, some gold nuggets, some more bread. Food is always good. I'm never going to complain about having food. There's a door through there. There's more library through here. Oh, there's a book there. Angbird's story. Shall I read Angbird's story? The story begins with the memorable War of Fire. In the olden days, a first world monster of a colossal size ruled Angbed. The Black Flame. He destroyed and killed everything in its path, so much so that the people of Angmen never prospered, but this creature exists only by the will of gods to protect the power source of all worlds, now called the source of corruption. The demons of Angben band, led by Namegot, uh, formed an alliance to build an army strong enough to defeat the Black Flame. Once victorious, Namegot seized the power source from which he could rebuild cities destroyed by the monster. He also built the capital city of Angbend on the remains of the Black Flame so that no one would ever forget his prowess and power. Yada yada, yada yada, yada yada. The demon is called, oh, the daemon from the planet Deimos, sorry. The daemon is called Azriel, uh, and one of the most powerful demons that Angbend has ever constructed. He still sits on the th nether's throne and knows no mercy. I'm sure we'll find him at some point. Doesn't appear to hate me. Okay, cool. We chill? We chill. Works for me. We can be best friends if you want zombie pigmen. I, I certainly didn't kill any of your friends earlier. Um, and if I did, it would only ever have been out of self-defense or a need to get through a gate. Um, okay, so I can, I can leave the library. I think that's what I'm going to have to do because I don't think I can get in there right now. Maybe I'll come back when I figure out how to get in there, but for now, 
We carry on forwards. Hurry, I have to take the bridge to get to the second part of the citadel. According to King Noldrum, this is where I'll find the gem. Whoa, that's a problem. It seems that a mechanism has been triggered in the library. I'll go back there. Well, it's not going to rebuild the bridge, is it? Okay. Here I am, back in the library. Do we see anything obvious? Am I missing something? Oh, no, we're friends. We're chill. You and me, we're chill. That will explode, so I'm not going to use it. Oh, who am I kidding? It's still going to explode, but we are going to use it. Oh, it won't let us. Okay, fine. It's the exit to the castle. So it does have to be this way we go then, right? Hi, other zombie pigman friend. Are we supposed to do this parkour maybe? I doubt it because I'm not really sure how I could do this as parkour. I say that, that jump is totally doable, isn't it? You know, if you were like better at parkour than I am, that jump is totally doable. Um, after here, I'm not quite sure where I'm supposed to go, though. Oh, there's a ladder there. Is that jump doable? I'm not convinced that one is, but we'll try. Oh no, they found me. Oh, and now all my buddies are against me. The anger infection spreads. I knew that, of course, but it's still sad. It does slightly raise the stakes for this parkour, though, doesn't it? Especially for this jump that I don't think I'm going to be able to do. I was correct. Guys, guys, can't we just talk about this? Come on, can't we be pals? Can't we all just be buddies? You know, best buds, best buds forever, best buds forever, you and me. Come on, please, please. Oh. Ah, uh, is correct. So now we have to do a lot of parkour, pursued by a bunch of bloodthirsty pigmen. Um, that was a dirty trick, forcing us to shoot the pigmen in order to be able to carry on. It would have been nice to just wander through this place without constant threat of murder. My swords are definitely going to break, by the way, I'm going to have to chain some more. Ah! Jesus! There's so many of them! Oh boy, okay. Okay. Difficulty is the map in, by the way. Like, are we in easy mode? I'm sure I've checked this before. Well, I can't remember how to check difficulty. It's right there. We're not. We are now. That should make my life easier. I hope. <laughs> We're at the point where the goal is just make the game less painful, however possible. The method doesn't even matter anymore. Oh good, more of you. A whole armies of them, just look at them all. Crawling at me. I can't escape them because they just stay angry at me forever. I wish the infection stopped after dying. Like with dogs, you know, they're angry at you until they kill you, and then when you respawn, they're not angry at you anymore. That is how this should work. But it isn't how it works. Um, I did set it to easy, right? No. What the heck?
There we go. Now it's set to easy. And that's just like a command block that changes the difficulty on you. There's totally a command block that changes the difficulty on you. I mean, I can fix that because I can lock the difficulty at easy. But then it might start throwing up a whole bunch of errors. And I really don't want to get thrown up in a screen full of errors. But like, why do they keep making ease of life things so much harder? Like, just putting the game into easy mode is just ease of life. You know what it means I totally could do, though? To deal with the um, zombie pigment infection that hate me. Okay, that's staying in peaceful for some reason. I've put it in easy mode now. I might have just broken the game for good, you know? In fact, I think I probably totally have just broken the game for good. But you know, the question of do I care comes up. And the answer is, until it negatively affects me, which I'm sure it will, but at present it isn't. I really don't. So we're just going to carry on as if everything's fine. Is the difficulty still on easy mode? Yeah. It fixed the difficulty changing on me. Does this guy still want to kill me? Of course he does. Can't change that. Not even going into freaking peaceful mode can change that. This jump is jump is infinitely harder when you're on fire. I don't like having to go oh no, he's gonna get down your infection too. You know, I'm very conflicted with this map. Because I'm 29 episodes through, right? This is our 29th episode. Um, but I really don't think this is the map for me. It's very much stopped being fun. Once upon a time, it was a fun map. Now it's kind of torturous. Like, I've been feeling that way kind of since the last gem. That it's just, it's losing a lot of its appeal to me. But I feel really bad abandoning a series like 30 episodes through. And the map maker clearly put a lot of effort in. Like, it's an impressive map. There's clearly a lot of effort and time that's went into making this. Oh, we're back in normal mode, by the way. But it's just way too hard. Like, I've cheated myself full diamond armor here. And I'm still dying. Way too much. And I have to do... I can't do the parkour because there's constantly monsters spawning. You don't get a breather from them. It's just, it's just not within my skill set, I don't think. This map is not designed for me. It's designed for people who are significantly better at Minecraft than I am. Yeah. <sighs> I don't know. I mean, I'll probably keep it up for another two episodes. But come January, if we don't start making some progress here, we might end up dropping the series. And I feel kind of bad about that, but at the same time, if it's not fun anymore, I shouldn't keep playing it. So I don't know. We'll see. Maybe my opinion will change. Either way though, um, on that very happy note, that is all the time we have in this video. Thank you all very much for watching, and I will see you all next week. Bye Team Challenge!